we are going to start a unit on uh, geometry and so we're going to do surface area and volume and we're going to start with finding areas if on the materials page you will look at the top there is a star chart it is the eighth grade star chart just because i know that you'll be taking eighth grade star in the spring late in the spring and so I want you to familiarize yourself with the star chart. And I have highlighted this air, uh, this part right here because this is area. And we're going to do triangle, rectangular, paragraph, parallelograms, trapezoid, and circle. And I'm going to go through a lesson on this, utilizing all of these. The A stands for the area. Um, B stands for base. And H is height. And one thing about height is it's always perpendicular. Okay, so that'll be a big hint. And R is radius. Some of these figures are review, some of them are not. So let's start with the um, guided notes. And remember the area of the shape is how many squares of units you can fit inside of it. Um, what is the area of the rectangles drawn below? Make sure you write the units. So the area of a rectangle, the formula is B times H. And so area equals B times H. And base is 3 and height is 7. So this is 21 feet squared. Or you could say square feet. Okay, I typically do feet squared. Same thing. So, base and height, it doesn't matter. Pick one. Notice, remember I said height was always perpendicular? Three is perpendicular to seven. Number two, same formula. Base times height. I have 20 times 10. I have 200 inches squared. Now, area is always square units because we're putting little tiny squares in these. This one is base times height, 2 times 5, 10 yards squared, or 10 square yards. You can write it either way. Make sure you put your labels because area always has square units. Triangle, a couple of different ways. Half times base times height, or base times height divided by 2, same thing. The common mistake is you forget your half or you forget to divide by 2. So, 1 half base times height. Um, my base, remember my height is always perpendicular, so one of them is a base and one of them is a height on a right triangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 6. So it's half times 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Half of 36 is 18 uh, units squared. On right triangles, it's the legs of the right triangle. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 half of 4 times 7, 1 half of 28, which is 14 units squared. Right triangles are 1, are the legs, the base and the height are the legs, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 1 half times 4 times 6, which is half of 24, which is 12 units squared. All the time, my units are going to be square units on area. Whether it's upside down or turned sideways or crooked on a right triangle, it's the legs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 1 half of 7 times 7, which is 1 half 
of 49, which is 24.5 units squared. Triangle is still one half base times height. You're going to find a flat side. One, two, three, four. Remember the height is perpendicular, so this is the height. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the height. So it's one half of four times seven, which is four times seven is 28. A half is 14, so 14 units squared. I can also do half of four, which is two, and two times seven is 14. Here, it's the flat side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, it's the perpendicular, which is one. So it's one half base times height. One half of seven times one half of seven is 3.5 units squared. That goes over rectangles and triangles, and that should be a review. Um, if not, please um, go over this one more time. And remember, heights are always perpendicular, and that'll come into play on future figures.